These are randomly generated NHL players and I will be selecting 20 to build a team. For today's challenge, I will only be able to see how many assists the player has in their career. After all my choices have been made, we will assemble the team in NHL 24 franchise mode and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. These drafts have been going quite well for me recently, so let's see if we can keep up the streak. I also gave up and decided to use a community roster, so that way all the players should be on the proper teams. Let's see what we got here. 83, 73, and 162. 162 seems like the obvious choice, but what if I'm being fooled? Let's go for the whole fool me once thing. 162 on the right. And fool me once, you shall. We got Bjugstad. And we missed out on Lafreniere and Warren Fogel. Are you kidding me? Not the best way to start the team, but 318, you can't go wrong there. What about 200 though? There's a very high chance that I regret this, but because it did do me dirty once, I'm going to not take the obvious choice, go for 200 assists on the right. All right, so truth is just not a great round here, but Rust is what, 83, 84 overall? So far our team consists of, that's a lot of assists, Bjugstad and Brian Rust. We're not cooking. Yet. Alright, you've piqued my attention. 528 on the left. We are going to love that selection. We get Bradley Marchand, the rat, and we miss out on Tolvanen and Fiala. Three very solid players, but Marshy is the one I would go with. Three forwards down, many to go. That's close. I'm feeling a little bit risky today. Not 47 risky, but 336 risky. It actually kind of paid off. We get Vladi Tarasenko. He's going to be a good goal scorer for us, hopefully. It's also just really good to get abilities on the team because abilities definitely help with chemistry and we have an obvious choice here. We have to go with the left. You know what? I'm actually okay with that. We get Anton Lundell. Fire me up. New set of players, 8260 and 246. Yeah, I think my risk tolerance is starting to go down a little bit here. I will be selecting the player on the right. You know what's crazy? You can believe me or not. I was gonna take the 82. Seth Jarvis would have been unreal. Instead, we get Brandon Sod. Let's get a high roller here. Where's like 700 apples at? I should go 303, but I'm not gonna. 181. This is one of those rare chances where I don't really care who I got out of the two. We had Sebastian Ajo on the left. We didn't take him, but we got J-Rob on the right. Amazing. 42, 40, and 336. It would be pretty stupid of me not to go with the player on the right, so we're going with the player in the middle. I even caught myself off guard there. I was gonna take the right player, and then midway through the sentence, I decided to change it up. And it's kind of interesting that I did, because Vladimir Tarasenko, I already forgot how many he had. He was on the right. We get Protus. Capitals player. So you already know I'm fired up about that one. Our ninth forward will be a player that has 244 assists. Yeah, I think that was the right call to make. Wenberg will be the newest addition to our squad. Next up, we have a big one. Wow, three players, actually. I can't remember who it was, but we did take a player that had 200 flats, so I'm not gonna risk that. I should implement some kind of rule where if I do take the same player twice, then I have to grab like a 57 overall player or something. I'm really torn between the left and the right, but I am gonna go with the left. Oh yeah, let's go. We get the Nate Dog on the team. It would have been nice to have Jack Eichel, but I mean, come on. It's also good I didn't take the 200 player because that's brust. And we have him. Who will be the penultimate forward? Hmm. Call me crazy. Because I am. We're going down the middle. Literally, why? Why do you have to do me that dirty? Perfect. Oh, hello. Oh, perfect. You know what? We just got Nate Mac. I have no room to complain. Our final forward is definitely going to have 500 flat because that is just such a cool number. That's another huge miss. We could have had Mitch Marner on the left. We get Johnny Goudreau. Now we draft some defensemen. I'm going very safe with our first pick. We're going all the way to the right. That's pretty huge. Matheson is 87 overall around that range these days, so nice. Our second defender will have a grand total of 143 assists. I'm fired up about that one too. Radko Gudis, tough guy. I mean, yeah, he did get dummied by Barbashev. I think it was Barbashev that one time, but anyway, a very welcomed addition to the team nonetheless. Let's get a defenseman with like 700 apples. Is that even possible? I'm going to go with 83. Oh yeah, that's fine. We take those. Ryan Graves, all aboard. There we go. 
Yeah, there's no way I'm taking 14 or three. It's gotta be the card on the left. It is the Yeti himself, Brent Burns. I love that for this team. If we can get a good goalie, this team definitely has potential. 168, come on now. That was the obvious choice. We get Adam Larson. We did get, I forget his first name, is it Kevin? Kevin! Don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's Caden. One single defender to go. Let's get a little wacky crazy with this one. I mean, I can't actually. I called a friend, we're going with 131. I'm actually very down with that. We missed out on Larson, who we just drafted. I believe Braden McNabb is kind of a stay-at-home defenseman and he's probably one of the lowest overall players in the game to have an ability. I'm all for it. Last and potentially least, we have goaltenders where goals against average lines up with the assist column. And this could be very deceiving because somebody could have a 259 over 400 games and then the 247 could be one. I am gonna risk it for the biscuits though and go for the goaltender on the right. Three pretty solid goaltenders, wouldn't have been too upset with any of them. Bobrovsky obviously would have been cool, fresh off his cup win, but we got Jonathan Quick. I don't know what Quick's overall is. Oh no, 276. I feel like we just had that. Kind of seeming like Quick's gonna be our starter. I got a crazy one for you. Give me 302. That was another round that wasn't great. Joseph Wall would have been ideal, but we got Louis Domingue. Our net mining situation isn't really ideal, and our defense are good, but they're not great. We have firepower up front, some depth. Let's go put this team together and see what the chemistry looks like. Here we are on NHL 24. The divisions have been jumbled up a little bit and the Sarnia Stealth 93 overall are a part of Custom Division 4. I know there's no injuries on, but guess what, Jabroni? You're still not going to be able to edit my lines. Not that you would anyway, but I'm just letting you know. I'll tell you one thing for free. Nate Mack and J-Raw better put in work. The chemistry is pretty good, but to be honest, I expected it to be a little bit better. Now I could move Marshy up to the first line and it becomes a plus five and Tarasenko is a sniper, so we could have that and then J-Rob sniper sniping on the second line. This is gonna be one of those things where I try it and if it's not working out, we'll change it. Ooh, we don't really have defensive chemistry either. I feel like we have all the proper handedness, which is nice, but for some reason, these two don't get along. Also, oh, that explains a lot. We've got two options here. I could swap McNabb with Matheson and we get a plus one and a plus three, or I could put him down here where Graves is and we get three zeros. Or even better yet, I could put Matheson on the first pair and Graves and Larson on the second pair. We get two plus ones and then a zero down here. And that's our goaltending situation. As I said, not ideal. All right, let me think for a second here. This team is going to get a grand total of 47 wins. McKinnon's gonna get the most points with a total of 99. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. It is simulation time. And just a friendly reminder, in case this is your first time watching one of these videos, I do put these players in international. So we are the only team that has them. That was recommended in a comment a while ago. I can't find it, but you know who you are. I think moving J-Rob up to the first line could be sort of a playoff strategy. So if we're ever pinned against the wall, that's kind of our Hail Mary. 9-6 loss to the Carolina Hurricanes. Great. Gross. If we can win three of the next four games, that's a great start. We'll have 40 wins at the deadline. Boom. We are on fire. I'm going to keep simming, but you can let me know the blockbuster trades if you want to. There was none. That's interesting. Doesn't happen very often. Come on, boys. Close it out here. We have a lot of games left still. Well, three, but you know, I mean enough to get to 50. That's what I'm trying to say. No, we were so close! 104 points was enough to secure first in Custom Division 4, but not even close to enough to get the President's Trophy. We actually finished fourth in the entire league, but the Vancouver Canucks went off. This right here is what you hate to see. The team that finished 21st with a grand total of 85 points is in the playoffs. Actually, that's the team we're playing too. It would be very fitting to lose that series. Nathaniel did his thing, 109 points. We got 99 from Marshy, so I thought our highest player would have 99, but no, we got 10 more than that. Goaltending was average, maybe slightly above average, 907, 906. We take that for these two. Mr. Burns was the only defender that got points for us. 62, 45 assists and 17 goals. Larson got 10 goals and four assists, which is really weird. Thatcher Demko leading the charge, no 
no surprises there. 303 GAA though. Stewie had a 43 win season, 916 save percentage. Vancouver's terrific season just continues to get better. Quinn Hughes had 106 points. Kale had 96 and then it drops off to 70. We didn't get the Art Ross. That would be Pappy who is also definitely getting the Rocket Richard and most likely the Hart. 111 points from JT Miller. 116 from Leon. This is what our opponent looks like without Bradley. I guess this custom roster must have also added abilities and changed some overalls because we have Shattenkirk down here with an ability. These two both have abilities. And on top of that, Jeremy Swayman is a 92 overall. First three games, you know the rules by now. Will we be doing well or will we be getting dusted? Time for our secret weapon. Jason, I'm gonna need a huge next four games from you. And Brad, how about you go out there and be a rat against your former team? I'm not going real-time sim unless we push a game seven. So here we go. Nice. That's pathetic. You've got to be kidding me. The Stanley Cup final is between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Montreal Canadiens. You kidding me? Here's what the Habs look like. They got Slavkovsky with four abilities, Suzuki 90 overall, and Caulfield ready to rumble. Not the strongest defensive core, but it's working out for them. And we have the same overall starter, except their backup is a little bit better. The Tampa Bay Lightning have Jake and Bake with Braden Point and Kucherov. That is lethal. Atkinson, Sorelli, and Hagel. We can't forget about Nick Paul. Nice shot. Paul. Defensively, this team looks very good. And of course, they have Andre Vasilevsky in the net. Let's take it one game at a time here and see who is going to emerge as the Stanley Cup champion. Right now, it is a 1-1 series, a best of five. But who will take the lead in said best of five? It is the Montreal Canadiens. All right, will they tie it up again? Yes, they do. A best of three series now. It is neck and neck. 3-2. Tampa Bay's got to break the pattern. Otherwise, they're screwed. This is it. Can they do it? They do! They break the pattern in the very last possible chance. Chicago Wolves, your Calder Cup champions. Our team was stinky in the playoffs. At least we had this guy, Brent Burns. Six points in five games as a defenseman. I appreciate you. You can't even say it was goaltending. Look at this guy. He had a 917, 285. Con Smythe most likely going to Braden Point, but how about Nick Suzuki? 37 points in 25 games. That is absurd. That whole first line for Montreal was really good, and we had Point and Kucherov, but where's Gensel. Oh, he's right here. Okay, yeah, he did really well. Andre Vasilevsky had a 916 save percentage, 288 GAA. Sam Montembeau, 910, 293. It's pretty good for an 82 overall. I don't think it would have made that much of a difference, but we could have had this guy. Victor Hedman carried defenseman, 21 points, 25 games played. Roman Yossi up next. Although Matthews did get the art, the Hart Memorial is awarded to Leon Dreisaitl. Quinn Hughes awarded the Norris. Then we got Marner with the Lady Bing. Bedsy getting the Calder, as you do. Pointer with the Con Smythe. Aiden Hill getting the Vesna and the Jennings. Well, I suppose it's the pair of Hill and Samsonov. Labushkin getting the Masterton. Stafford awarded the Jack Adams. We got Sydney the Kidney and the Selkie paired together. Dreisaitl scoops up another, and so does Austin. Your playoff tree, ladies and gentlemen, the Boston Bruins destroyed us and then got swept. Par for the course. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. You can even turn on the bell if you want. I'm not going to stop you. Appreciate you as always. And on that note, I will see you soon.